So today I'm going to be talking about the next update that's coming for Tin Can, which involves the rescue mode. So I'll just be sharing a little bit of information on that. But before I get into that, the footage that I'm showing is from my previous survival run, hardcore survival run, which was a little bit over an hour. If you haven't watched that already, you can go back on my channel and look at uh, that run. It was pretty interesting. I'll also link it in the description. But I actually have an interesting update about that as well, because it turns out the thing that ended up killing me um, related to one of the systems. And if you've not seen the video, I won't spoil it for now. It may actually have been a bug in the game, and I will be talking about that bug later in the video as well, because I do think it is a game breaking bug that at the time of recording this video is still within the main branch of the game. So I will explain exactly what the situation is with that in case you just want to be aware of what's going on or you may want to avoid the game for a little bit. So we will talk about that. But anyway, with that said, let's get into the update that's coming with the rescue mode. And I'll start with the bad news, which is not particularly bad, but I spoke in one of my previous videos about the workbench update that is coming. And that's one that I'm really excited about. And unfortunately, because the rescue mode is currently in development, they are not going to be pushing the workbench update, it seems anytime soon. So we're going to have to wait for the rescue mode. So unfortunately, I was pretty excited about that. But it is what it is. And you know, they've been releasing a lot of updates for this game. It's still a really good game. So not too worried about that. But anyway, so what they are focusing on for now is the rescue mode. And essentially, what this is going to add is a progression system in the game. So this means that there are going to be victory conditions, which in this case is to get rescued and the ability to start right before the initial explosion of the ship. So the image that I have here is an early look at what that's going to look like. And basically, you're going to be able to explore before you essentially escape from the ship, before you escape within the escape pod. You can explore and search for components and tools before you leave in the tin can. And you're also going to have to do a diagnostic of the pod and before you go into space, just make sure that everything is there and it's working properly. So it seems that the way this is going to work or the way that the developers are describing this is that you're going to have to survive each level and then you'll unlock a more challenging one as well as special components and tools. So that's basically exactly what's coming in the rescue mode. So it's almost like a level system. And yeah, I'm really excited, uh, excited about this one, looking forward to it at releasing. And as soon as it does, I'm definitely going to be playing that, playing through the levels. So looking forward to that. But yeah, that's basically what's coming. Let's talk about the bug that's currently in the game. And as I said, I think this affected my previous run, but I'm just going to go into the game and I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about. Right, so the game breaking bug that I wanted to discuss, I'm going to illustrate it to you now. And it relates to the way that I think it's either just the transformers or both the transformers and the fuses are working right now. So ordinarily, any system, so if I take the pressure generator, for example, it is protected by both the transformer and the fuse. And what the transformer is doing is if there is excess power, it's converting that into heat to a point, of course. And then if it goes beyond that point, the fuse will shut down the system. That's the way it's meant to work. And you'll see it does work that way. So if I switch something off that takes a lot of power, like the gravity generator. So let me just illustrate this. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to switch this off. And you'll see that I get that error on the main generator just to tell me that it is currently producing more power than the systems can handle. But all of the systems are protected with their transformers. So if I switch this back on and I can just hit that master warning switch and then everything's OK. Now, here's the bug, right? So if I go back here and I switch the system off, open it up. Now, I'm not going to do anything. I'm literally just going to take out the power transformer and the fuse. I'm going to put them directly back in, just like you would when you were to replace these systems. Now, right now, that effectively, I think it either breaks the power transformer or it breaks both the power transformer and the fuse. I'm not 100% sure, but the point is they are now broken. So if I, or at least I don't know if they're broken, but something's definitely bugged here. So you'll see if I now go and I switch this off, that system will fail completely. And that's not supposed to happen. So we now have damaged components in there. There's definitely something wrong there. And unfortunately, until they sort out this bug, 
I don't think I'm going to be playing Tin Can. Um, I wouldn't recommend that you play it either because it is a bit game breaking. This effectively means that you can't replace those components in every in, in any system. But what I will do is when this does get patched, I will just upload a comment and pin it to this video so that you can see when it is actually patched and you can play the game again. But in its current state, as I said, probably wouldn't recommend it uh, because it is a bit game breaking. Do let me know though if you have experienced this on your side as well. I'm not sure if it is potentially something that just happened in my version of the game. Uh, I did reinstall it and I still got the exact same bug. So it would be interesting to know if other players have experienced this, if you can figure out exactly what's going on, if it is in fact a bug, but it does seem to be. But yeah, that's everything for today. So as always, if you do like this kind of content, please do like and subscribe and I'll see you for the next video.